PCIT Airspace Campus, located in Richmond, is a home for over 200 students, faculty members, and support members that are included in our variety of different programs, non-technical and technical. At ATC, prior to COVID, our model uh, uh, was uh, about 50% uh, of theory, 50% of the practical piece in uh, pretty much all the programs. So during this process of evolving, you know, from a time of being completely online to now to the model that is uh, basically very close to the model prior to COVID-19, we spent a lot of time to prepare the campus for students to come so they can actually trust and feel confident because only under these circumstances students will be able to learn. This is a campus, this is a huge space that includes hallway, that includes testing center, all the labs that they're included in this process. So we manage, we manage with the signage, but safe it doesn't mean just, you know, to put the barriers, having the mask, reminding ourselves that we need to do that, showing that we're washing the hands, showing that we're using the, this hand sanitizer. Because an important thing was to actually walk the talk. This is our goal, to keep us safe, to follow the protocols and start to live with that. It's not just you told me, it's I believe in that. And this is what I'm going to do. It was an evolving process. We needed, obviously, to be creative. We needed to uh, bring uh, not our knowledge, but creativity, which was supported by the knowledge of the educational approach. So we tried to do that with the different clips, small movies, small recording things, and not going through the old documentation, because all those pages might be really exhausting for, for students that are already exhausted. Our second approach with all the, you know, barriers was to be sustainable, to be creative so that later on we can, you know, recycle the things, return the things so that we didn't waste, you know, too much. Anything in the future or further, we'll disassemble them and resell them. This journey, as we know, started in March 16th and we sit together and we say, no, we can do it. This, this will happen. And the driving force actually was that we need to do that for our students. And we need to do that for ourselves. We need to prove that we can actually function in this unprecedented time in the best possible way. So we did it and we're really proud of that.